Well, this is the Hacker Triple Seven, and today I'm doing a video theme review on a thing called Arius. Um, you can go ahead and down in the description below. This is a preview of it. All right, so it's made by a man called Mr. Blade. He makes some awesome themes. Uh, this is no exception. It's a pretty sick theme. I'll be going over it today. So I uh, will have the file in the description below to download. In there, it's pretty simple. He gives you an install file. This is pretty one of the uh, best things you can do to install a theme. It has something installed there for you. So in the extras folder, though, he has things like a login screen, which I will be applying at the end of the video. Actually, let's do it right now. He gives us a login screen editor, so we can just use that program. Okay, right, so just go to uh, browse at the top there, go to download, find the folder. Alright, boom. There you go. You can choose uh, what you want, buttons wise. And then hit apply. And there we go. I logged in, I logged in, log off back in. Sorry, guys. Alright, so other stuff he has in here is like a Photoshop splash screen. He gives you instructions on how to install it. Um, it's not that hard. A lot of people do it. So, uh, this is something you can also install. This is something he, he gives you, which is the custom button. Um, again, this, we'll do this later, but we'll do that later. So, don't worry about that. Alright, and the time date image, which is the little clock. Alright, so to do this, so let's get into it, guys. So, go to the install file. I have some uh, pretty sweet music, which I, yeah. Alright, so make sure your, your computer is patched for third party themes, okay? So if it isn't, uh, go ahead and add a patch x64, x86. Uh, what that is, is your system architecture. If you know what that is, go to your start button, right click on the computer button. If it's x, if it's 64, it's, it is, wait, sorry, wrong side. Is x64. If it says 32 bit, x86. Alright, and then make sure you have Theme Resource Changer installed. If you do not install Theme Resource Changer, this theme will not work correctly. Okay? Uh, in the instructions, he also says, you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay? So go ahead and make sure you have it installed. I do, so I will skip both of these things. Then go to the Theme Installer. I'll say you can just say, I agree. Uh, all right, so just click next, click install. Install a couple of fonts for you guys. At the end of the video, I will be showing you guys how to uh, basically disable this theme. So click finish, and boom, there's our new theme. Okay, so we should see uh, a pretty big change. Uh, we got a custom background, we got a custom start orb, Got this menu. This is a very heavy theme, so people who don't like the heavy themes, uh, stay away from this theme, I guess you could say. It is pretty heavy. So now I will be showing you guys how to uh, install the. Oh, there's a changing wall here. Well, how to install the two files here. So we're gonna need to go to this area. So need you need to pin this basically. So go here. Go to your computer, go to wherever is Windows is installed, and pin that there. Now go to your Windows folder, uh, and then go to branding, and then, well, let me double check. Yeah, so I thought. Go to this one right here, and this is the file you need to replace, so I need to, oh crap. Alright, so just take this one, and you need to rename it. Okay, so just give it a, add an extra L. That's what I like to do. Now, if you get this little problem right here, it's going to say you need permission from Trust Installer to make changes to this file. A lot of you are going to get this problem. I'm going to show you a way to fix this. So I'm going to pause the recording, get my little program out, and then I will show you guys how to stop that program. Okay, guys, so I have added the uh, Take Control folder to your download. 
and what this will do is allow you to take control of this file completely from your system. By default, it does protect you from doing this, just in case uh, someone back and deletes this file, it doesn't destroy your computer. Unfortunately, we'll be taking over that permission. So again, guys, you're taking a risk here, but trust me, it works fine because I do this all the time. Go ahead, open the take control folder, o open up take control exe. It's going to say you can take over some of these files. So make sure you're running as administrator. So right click it, hit run, run as admin, go to add, and these are the files we're going to take over. So go over here and copy this um, address. Go back over here and paste in the address. And then click on that file right there. Hit open and click take control. All right, so once the file goes away, it has worked. Minimize the program, we'll be using this later. So go ahead and now add the extra L or put dot backup. That's a lot of people do too. All we do this is because if you ever want to put the logo back to what it was before, all you have to do is delete the, old, the new file and then rename this one just to, to delete the backup and you're all good. So now you guys can see it gives you one even question you and just shuts out once you do it. So now go here guys, go to uh, copy this right here paste it in here and there we're all good uh, I'm not sure if it will work right off the bat oh there you go so you guys can see right away it works okay so we got a little logo here all right okay so next we're gonna do the time so you guys can see this pretty, this looks pretty crappy in my opinion so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the time it's the exact same process just different different uh, place so I'm pretty sure it is in Windows. It's out in System 32 or this one right here. All right, it's in System 32. So go to Wisdom Windows, and then go to System 32. Then you should go. If you hit T a couple times, go under the T's and scroll down. You should see Time Date CPL right there. All right, so right click on this one. And you should, if you try and rename it, it's not going to work again. So go ahead and open up your take control again. Or if you minimize it, just do it again. Go to add. Go over here. Copy this right here. Go back over here. Paste that in. Then type in time. And you should pop up right there. Open it. Hit take control. Done. Now you can exit the program. Go ahead and rename. Oh. Go ahead and rename it. Put dot backup again. Now it's going to say, you know, it might become unusable. Click yes. We know it's become unusable now. So now right click on our new one. And don't paste it in a folder. Just paste it in the area. And you should see it right above it. Uh, it's not going to work right away. You will have to refresh. You will have to restart Windows Explorer for it to work. Which that will do later. Okay, so now we, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, exit out of that. Okay, so what else is in the extra floor? So we have a rain meter theme, so if you guys know how to do that, you can use that. We have some icons for, uh, things that are for your dock, if you, if you have a Mac dock. Uh, area stock, if you like that. And we have an amp skin, if you like that. So that is about it if this theme, guys. Uh, to finally, up, can, uh, apply this right here, you gotta restart your computer. Or if you're lazy and don't want to restart it, you can do this little trick. Right clicking in your hair, go to start ta task manager, go to processes, scroll down until you, oh, go to image name, and then go down until you find the E's, should see explore exe, hit end process. Uh, this should kill everything. Now you should not see anything. Uh, this does look a little scary, but don't worry. Now if you get stuck and you just can't do anything else, go ahead, hit control, alt, deletes, and then hit log off and log back on again. Or you can just go file new, hit browse, go to system 32, which is by default what it's in usually. Go ahead and explore. Oh, sorry, go to Windows folder and then hit X. Oh my god, I'm finding the wrong one. Okay, here guys. There it is, okay. So go to uh, there, hit explore. Hit open, 
and click OK. And it should, by default, open it up. Give it a couple seconds there. And we should have our new clock. Okay. So, you guys can go ahead and just look through the theme. Obviously, I put the custom buttons everywhere. It's a pretty advanced theme, very heavy theme. Uh, if you look at the desktop background, you guys can see we got a couple cool ones. I think this one's pretty sick myself. Uh, this is my second. This is my, this is probably my favorite one of all of them. So you can choose one. All right, guys. So once you've done all that, now this is how you reverse everything. Okay. So to get rid of the main theme, just go to personalize. It's very simple, guys. And click one instead. All right. So now we're out of that. Okay. Or you can go to default one. All right. So now we're out of that. Uh, now you should have. You're probably gonna see things like this now. You're gonna have that right there. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave it. I actually think it looks pretty sick. But if you do want to get rid of things like that, um, basically it's the exact opposite of what we did. So go back to where we were. So which was here. Go to uh, Windows, and then go to Branding. Go to Shell. There. You go. And then basically delete the old one and go to rename and delete dot backup. Boom, done that. Now go to Windows. Don't oh, worry, Windows. Go to System32. Hit T. Take it down to the T's. Go down to the T's. Go to you find the time date file that we edited earlier. And then delete the new one. And then rename the old one and just delete back up again. And there we go. We have everything back to normal. So that's how you guys do that. Um, enable and disable. A lot of you guys complained about me not being able to disable on the HUD red theme. That is how you disable guys completely. You guys can see that I have nothing left. Except the login screen which you guys can just go back to uh, this program we used earlier. Which is the login screen. Go to login screen editor. Go here and hit restore login this reverts it alright guys so that's completely disabling it you are back to normal so if you ever need to uh, disable it just go back to, come back to this video and you're all good so that guys have a great day uh, don't forget to subscribe for some more awesome Windows 7 desktop, desktop customizations and some tutorials this is the hacker 7 and I'm signing off